Hey yo, what up? This is Snack the Ripper and you're watching Breaking Records Radio, motherfucker. Let's go. What's up? This is Demrick. Jamie Madge Rock. Man, this is your man's OB Trice. This is Adlib. Yo, what up? This is Specs One. This is Fresh K. Hot Rock's the motherfucking Scrat MC. Breaking Records. Breaking Records Radio out here. This is Breaking Records Radio. Check them out, man. Breaking Records Radio in the place to be. You know what it is. We got a special guest with us, Snack the Ripper. Yes, sir. Friend of the show. Uh-huh. It's been a while since we've done an interview. You just put out Off the Rails last time. We actually did the last one in Hamilton. Yes, sir. New album, Off the Rails. Spotify. Oh, sorry, um, you did From oh. the Dirt last Oh, yeah, time. From yeah, the yeah, Dirt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a couple years back. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck yeah. But, um, yeah, man, you killed that shit tonight. I thought it was interesting, too, because last time we did the interview, actually, I had to cut a bunch of shit out of it because everybody was so twisted, myself included. But you're like, was, mad people stole fireworks from you and shit. Oh, shit, they stole my fireworks? Yeah. <laughs> I, was, I was pissed? Yeah. <laughs> we were all twisted like that, though. So, um, yeah, I thought it was interesting when we started the set tonight, and you're like, yo, it's my first time in Toronto. I'm like, no, it's not. And then you're like, sober. <laughs> yeah. My first time remembering anything. First time remembered, yeah. right? Yeah. So have you been doing the whole tour sober this time? <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah? Yeah, 10 yeah. months ten months sober, man. Does that have to do with having a newborn and all that? It has to do with having a newborn and also has to do with my age and shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm getting older and, you know. And wifey not on tour with yeah, you. Yeah, and wifey too. doesn't doesn't party. She's fucking angel, you know what I mean? And yeah. I, I feel like a dirtbag who locked out. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, but it's just a health thing too, you know what I mean? I want to live to see my son grow up and shit. And then, and, and one night of having fun is not valuable enough to me, you know what I mean? Then more valuable than he is, you know what I mean? Seeing yeah. him. That shit, watching him grow up and seeing him and shit is the most valuable thing to me in the entire world. You know what I mean? I can't explain it. I, I feel like I turned into one of those parents, you know what I mean? Yeah. But when you have a kid, you'll understand, you know yeah. what I mean? People who are listening who have kids, they know, you know what I mean? It flipped my whole shit upside down. Yeah, some of my craziest homies will say I kids became the most straight edge motherfuckers. Yo, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. And I'm not 100% straight edge. I still smoke weed and shit. I just, I quit the liquor because that's the biggest problem for me, right? Yeah. The liquor leads to other shit. It leads to two days of fucking mayhem for Not me. Not sleeping. I in. wake up covered in blood and puke and piss. And, and people stealing your fireworks. People steal my shit. <laughs> I get in fights. I get my nose broken. And it's fucked up. So, Word up. Just keeping it chill now, man. And so how has the experience been going on tour? Because this is your first time you've been on tour since you were born, right? Yeah, yeah. Actually, second time. I went to Europe already. Oh, okay, okay. But it was only two weeks. This is the hardest one so far. Yeah. I've been gone for three weeks, and it's, it's and, good. And you still got to go to the East Coast, too, right? Yeah, but I'm going home on Monday just for two days to see him. And then I'm, oh, nice. And then I'm flying back to Halifax to meet up with the boys, and then we do the Maritimes, and then we go to the States. Oh, shit, so you're doing the States, too, on yeah, this run? Yeah, so after I see my kid for two days this next week, I'm gone for another four and a half weeks. Oh, shit. Yeah. Damn. It's how right, we, you it's working, how, though. You how we I mean? feed the family, bro. Yeah, right, mm -hmm. exactly. All right, well, with that being said, you got the new album out, Off the Rails. Yep. And um, Real Drugs, first off. Yes, sir. The video for that shit's hilarious. Yeah, I was, love that. That was a fun one. You riding whatever the fucking moped-ass type yeah. fucking shit that is. Yo, one day one day I was just driving through my neighborhood, and I seen a kid riding that bike, and I, I fucking did a Yui and chased him down, and I was like, yo, give me your phone number. And he's like, why? And I'm like, I want to use your bike, man. And he's like... <laughs> He's like, why you want to use it? I was like, I'll give you a hundred bucks, man. He's like, okay. I paid, I paid, I paid some like, some like eighteen-year-old kid a hundred bucks to let me rock it. And then him and all his boys, they all had uh, uh, the, the the those bikes too, and they yeah. were all following me in the video, like they were riding oh, ahead. So that's of me. on his boys. Yeah, no, they were all riding ahead of me, like like looking back and shit. And then Stewie was in the car shooting it, and shit. It was dope, man. It was fun. Yo, that's crazy. Yeah, that shit was awesome. Cause that fucking bike is the most country shit I ever seen. That oh, thing's yeah. like bellowing more smoke than a fucking jet engine. Yeah, well, we yeah exactly. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's dope, though, I tried man. I to wheelie it. I fucked up. Yeah, I see that. <laughs> That's funny shit, man. And um, that joint, I love that. I love the way you twisted the Mary J hook on that. You know what I mean for that. And the Sea Lands beats. That's another thing too. Like the a lot of the albums done by Sea Lands actually. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And so how long? Like, because I know he's produced for you in the past, but like, what was kind of like the incentive to get him to do a lot of this album? This I time? mean, mo most of my po most popular songs are produced by Sea Lands. Yeah, so you know it, I mean, there's like one or natural. two other ones that aren't, but like. If you look at the producer who makes the most songs people like, it's Sea Lance. You know what I mean? And me and Sea Lance, we have a good. Uh, and there's another guy too, Jamie Cuse. He he's a guy that's between me and Sea Lance that nobody knows and nobody gives love to, man. But he's our fucking engineer. He Sea oh, Lance, Lance will send me a beat. You know what I mean? And it's rough. 
and then I'll take that. It'll inspire me. I'll write a song to it. Still rough. His beat sounds rough. My vo vocals sound rough. But when we go to Jamie, Jamie hears something, right? And this guy is like a fucking musical genius, bro. Oh, word. Yeah, so he'll take C. Lance's beat, make this shit sound. He'll be like, I want to add a little bit more piano. Yeah. You know what I mean? He'll, he adds all sorts of shit. He has that flair he, to him. He soups up C. Lance's beats. He soups up my verses. If it wasn't for Jamie Q's, you know what I mean? Like, I mean, C. Lance would be sounding a lot more underground. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, if you compare C. Lance's beats on my projects to other rappers' projects, yeah. there's a reason it sounds fucking dope. It's A, because C Lance makes dope beats, but also because of Jamie Q's, you know what I mean? Yeah. Jamie Q's is our is our secret weapon. That's crazy. You know See, saying? and I would never, he, like you say, he's one of those dudes that people don't give love to. I wouldn't even know that until exactly, you said that. Exactly, man. Yeah, go follow Jamie Q's, man. He's 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 the man behind the magic. You know? I guess that explains, too, because actually on this production, when I, when I was listening to the album, like, yo, C Lance set this game up, kind of, because yeah. just the way the drums punch and shit, yeah, it's like yeah, almost got, on like some primo shit, yeah. like just the way those drums and snares yeah, like yeah, clap yeah. in your ears. Oh, that's, that's all C Lance, too, for sure. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? C Lance has like a certain idea of like a sound that he wants to make, and he goes with it, you know what I mean? And then, and then Jamie hears it and he's like, "Yeah, this is like some primo shit." And then, he, <laughs> and then he just finesses his. Own, he makes it sound even more. You know what I mean? He accentuates the yeah, shit. Yeah, brings a vibe. He takes. He takes. Out of it. Yeah, he takes what we make and accentuates the shit out of it. You know what I mean? That's dope. That's that's the best part. It's crazy too, because when I interviewed um, Evil, yeah, uh, Ebenezer, he was talking about like working on his album. He said Stewie did a lot of his mix and mastering, but he said the exact same thing. He's like, "I'll have a beat from this dude, whatever." Yeah. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, and yeah. he'll add the extra layers on it and yeah. stuff. Yeah, but, exactly. So you guys all kind of got your own secret weapon. Yeah, to work exactly. With, Stewie's, Stewie's still my secret weapon too, but just for videos. Yeah, you know? videos. Yeah. yeah, and all um, your videos are still Stewie, right? Me, me and yeah, me and Stewie, we have a good. Uh, when we make videos, we just go out with no plan, and we just, you know what I mean? Like, we just wing it. I go, I roll with a stack of five dollar bills, and we just pay people. Oh, word, eh? Like, like if you see like a homeless person. No, yeah, like I'm like, you want five bucks? <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah sure. that's real, that's real. Yeah, everybody gets five, man. Come on. All right, yeah, I'll do take the, some money. Do the dance, man. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Like the from the dirt dude. Yeah, those yeah. guys, man. Those guys made ten bucks, man. <laughs> Yo, that's good money when you're not making money. Fucking right. <laughs> not that guy's famous. No, anyways. everybody deserves to get paid, man. You do work, you get paid. Bro. Yo, right? That's the way it goes. Two minutes of work, man. You got to yell at the camera. Five bucks. That's great. Hey. Buy a 40 Even if you don't use it, you can go buy a 40 Yeah, ounce. exactly. Yeah. Word. That's dope, man. So, um, yeah, a lot of the, actually, my favorite joints off the album were Sea Lands joints. We'll get into those. But one thing that I noticed, it was the only joint on the album that, to my knowledge, that you produced, but yeah. the joint you did with Evil. Yeah. So, have you been producing for a long time? Because I never knew you to be a producer. Yeah, I, I've been kind of just in the cut, making beats. I made uh, Wasting Away on my last album oh, as well. Oh, okay. Yeah, C. Lance sent me some drums, and and uh, and then I just took these drums, and I did all the guitars and all the everything over like it. Like live guitars and shit? Yeah, I played guitar, man. Oh, say word. Yeah, so I, I, I was in the studio. I made uh, I made the fucking that beat. That was kind of like the first one I put out. Yeah. And then I made a bunch of shit on Jacqueline's last album. Yeah. Um, probably like two or three on there and then uh yeah and then i just did this one and fucking these boys killed it man young sin shout out evil mm. shout out those guys killed it man yeah it joins though the whole album's actually fucking solid as Thanks, shit bro. man like I, it, man. there's not it's actually it's um crazy because there's not a lot of albums especially in today's era that come out where like there's no like where there's joints where you're like ah, i want to skip this and shit you know like yeah, most yeah. albums you know are like half yeah. Dope half like yeah, I could do without this, but off the rails, man. That shit is like front to back. I'm like, yo, like I don't need to skip nothing on this shit. Respect, like, bro. I appreciate that th shit. That shit is dope. And so I want to get into some of the shit too. Is like, um, a lot of them are Sea Lands joints, but you did the knuckle sandwich joint with R.A. the Rugged Man. Yeah. R.A. the Rugged Man, one of the dopest MCs. We actually interviewed him last summer too. Yeah. Super cool dude. Did you? How did that uh, collab come about? Um, I've known Rugged Man for years, bro. We used to tour together. Like all, all the one of the first Canada tours I ever did was. Yeah, 2000, 2009 was the first time I toured with him. Then I toured with him in 2010. Then 2011, I brought him to Canada and. Oh word. I was okay. the I was the fucking promoter yeah, I mean, say so, word eh? yeah so like for the whole tour yeah i did a song with him in 2008 actually and direct yeah. direct produced it and then um yo it's called you can't hide direct over there actually yo i gotta shout you out because the cuts you do are crazy bro direct's a boss man yo ski mask way them cuts are crazy and fucking every you did all the cuts on the snack album he does all my scratches oh my god the knuckle sandwich shit bro yeah thank you man yo 
Yeah, I'm giving you a dab, oh, right? <laughs> no, I don't, but yo. Yeah, yeah. That shit is crazy. I'm actually, I'm glad to meet you as well, too, because I've actually, I'm, I'm a fan of your cut work, man. The way you cut the shit, the ski mask with the corn mega the samples, all that. The last breed right here, man, you know what I mean? I do the phrasing, that's what I do with the primo. Yeah. The, the, oh, yeah, you do the primo shit, but it's almost on crack. Like, the way you, like, you wedge some of these samples in and even shit. The, even the Criminal Ideas track. That shit was crazy, Yo, check too. it out. I didn't even have any idea what I was going to make the song about. I'm like, what am I supposed to make a song about? And then I was like, D-Rec, you pick. So then D-Rec went, found all these scratches. He did the hook, the cr cr Criminal Ideas. Shit. Oh, and then shit. I was like, oh well, there's the song concept. You know what I mean? So he came up with the song concept for that one. Oh, and then me and yeah. me and Reef and Ill Bill, we all just, you know what I mean? We were feeling it. So we, that yeah, exactly. Oh man, yo, yeah. your your cut work is phenomenal. With every album I hear that comes out that has you doing cuts on it, it. It, it, it's improving. Here's, you know what I mean? here's another fact: is that D-Rec is in the studio every single time I make a song, sitting there with Jamie Q's. These guys are like the, they're like my coaches. Yeah. You know what I mean? So when I'm rapping and shit, D-Rec will be like, Ab, could you not say it like this and say it more like this? And oh I'm like, shit! And I'm like, all right, I guess so. You know what I mean? So y'all are really like the behind the scenes yeah, producer. This, this is, he's, yeah. A, he's, he's executive producer of the album. If you like that album. He's the executive producer. That means he took all the beats and fucking used his own artistic ideas to make them shit sound iller. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. d -Rec. Yo, everybody here, make some fucking noise for D-Rec. Oh. See, D-Rec, D-Rec, D-Rec has like the, is an old school cat, man. And he, he, he don't get me wrong, he listen to new shit too, but he has that real ear for like the, the boom bap and the old school shit. Yeah. And Jamie... Same with him. He loves Jedi Mind Tricks and shit, but he's he he's more into like the modern shit and like the he likes all like the. That's, that's so you got that perfect balance. So I got man. a good balance. I got the trap guy and I got the fucking boom bap guy, and then I just go and fucking murder the beats, Yo. and that's it. Yeah, you know I mean? He just brings the melodies and yeah. the harmonies and the bars and shit. And yeah, and these guys do the rest. Man. Yo, that's ill, man. Yeah, that's these so guys do ill. The rest, man. You, cause yo, like legit DJ Premier, my favorite producer of all time. And I don't know if I call him my favorite DJ, but at least with like cuts on records, you know what I mean. But yeah, yeah. and that's he's exactly like, every he, time you cut, he's like, it embodies he's that primo shit. Except yo, your shit is so hear, on you point. You like, hear something every really sample. Dope? That's crazy that yo, I just heard the same sentence as him. It's crazy. Oh man. Yo, I just heard the other day Perry told me that DJ Premier bought my album off iTunes with his with his own money has been playing that shit on 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 satellite radio yo. Or whatever, Shay, Shay yo he bought it with his own money bro on the headquarters show or yeah yeah, dude. yeah man. make some fucking noise for DJ Premier oh. playing snack the yeah, yeah, baby. he's got good taste Primo. that he does <laughs> yo that's one thing I love about Prem too is he keeps his ear to the streets still Puppy you know right. what I mean that yeah. you're a legend in this game you work the best and you still dig out you know what yeah. I mean and fight like the ASAP Ferg joint and the Drake joint and shit yeah, now it's the like, cast yeah, it's like, cast he's like he's like that's how you that's how you stay current yeah yeah, he's killing the yeah. game, bro. Primo, yo, even the Drake joint. Yo, fucking. I like, I like it. Yo, man. But yeah, you really embody, like, to me, if I could put anybody in Canada, like, you would be that DJ Premier dude. You know what I mean? He Those is, cuts, right? man, like, 100%. that's he's next level shit. Yeah, that's crazy to me, man. That's crazy, man. I appreciate it. That. That's, like, the, biggest, like, that's the biggest compliment I could ever receive, man. Yo, that's no. Just love, man. That shit's crazy, man. Yeah. Like, Ski Mask Way was when I first learned it, when I was interviewing Mercules yeah. uh, about a year, maybe a year and a half ago. Yeah. And I asked him about Ski Mask Way. I'm like, who did the cuts? He said, D-Rec. Yeah. I'm like, yo, so yeah. then I was really actually yeah. peeping for you yeah. after that. Yeah, I'm he, like, he, and he then any time I heard the cuts on the, like, the snack album shit, I'm like, yo, that's D-Rec. I yeah. can just tell from yeah. that. Evil evil hollered for the cuts if it's on his album, right? Yeah. Yeah, so of course I laced it. And yeah. He I does just, everybody's cuts, I just, man. Like, I, I source out, like, like 80% of the job is sourcing out the material to use. Like, yeah. Like I'll I'll Google certain like well, lyrics ear, and shit like and then I'll find them, them. and I have. And he knows much, everything. Ask yeah. him any fucking question about hip hop from now until 1982, <laughs> and he knows it. You know what I mean? Like like it's like what up, Bob? I'm saying the Bob, Bob. He's like he's like oh this is funky way back with the funky five and the fucking. Yeah. They released this album in 1982, following the their debut. Funky four, he knows plus one, plus. he knows the whole shit, bro. Like, Yo, next time you're through, we gotta do Yo, an interview, dude, man. That's some real hip hop shit man. for real. That's a whole other can of worms right yeah. there. Man. Yo, for sure, man. Yo, salute though. Thank you, bro. Thank the you, shit bro. you did was phenomenal. I just closed this guy. Let's open her back up. But yeah, so to move on forward, you were just talking about the Criminal Ideas joint too. Ill Bill, another friend of the show, we've had him on here mm -hmm. as well too. Um, Reef, we haven't, but those two just on a track together. That's an ill collaboration. How did that come about? Uh, I just, I, I, I've known Bill for a while, and I asked him. You know, he's on my last album, and 
He's like one of the most down to earth like like rappers I've met in my whole Super life. Cool dude, a lot yeah. of these dudes are assholes, man. And he's yeah. he's like the realest dude, man. He's hella nice. And and he's like, yo, I'll do it. I'll, this time we'll do a trade. And he's like, I want you to be on my album. I'm like, yo. let's go, bro. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I I did a joint with him for his album, which is coming out pretty quick. I think uh, they just hit me up for the files, and then um and then he did one for mine. And it, it was the same with Ritz too. We did the same thing and. And, uh, yeah, I mean... Oh, so you're going to be on the Ritz joint, too, then? Yeah, I'm going to be on the new Ritz Yo. album. Oh, yeah. Make some fucking noise for Ill Bill and Ritz! Yeah. And then, and then uh, Reef, Reef, I just, we follow each other, and he's he's boys with snow goons and shit. And, yeah. And uh, he seems like a dope dude, man. And I hit him up. I was like, yo, man, you want to be on this record with me and Bill? And he's like, 100%, send it to me. He got it back to me within, like, four days, and the rest is history, man. He's he's awesome. Yo, so that's I'm, I'm glad that, uh, you know, that that song made some underground fans happy. You know what I mean? Because I, I think those guys have been... Have, I, I don't even know if they've been on a track together before. Maybe one or two. I actually, yeah, I don't know if they have. Mm. Ace probably know better than me. Il Bell and Reef, they've been on joint together before? Sure. Yeah, no, I don't think they have, as far as I'm aware. This dude yeah. know, really follows, like, both those dudes a lot more than I do, so that's why I asked you. But, yeah, man, and that's one thing I thought. Like, when, when I'm looking at the album, even before I listen, I'm like, yo, that joint right there. Like, I'm like, I just want to skip forward and peep that, but I still listen from the front because I'm an old school dude, you know what I mean? I mean, you gotta me listen to the album all the way you, through. You gotta do it with mine too, because that's how I make my shit. Yeah, there's a yeah. It builds. If you listen to Just Give Her, and then and then let it play into From the Dirt, and then let From the Dirt play into Off the Rails, that it all flows. Oh, all the albums as well. Yeah, yeah all, yeah, all three yeah. of those albums flow perfectly into each other, man. Like like the end of of Just Give Her has a little train noise at the end of the the last song. Yeah. And then From the Dirt starts with some train shit, finishes running wild with some train shit, and then and then. At, and then the off the rails, yeah. You know, I'm like, I'm getting off the train, and then you hear motherfucker go by with the running wild in his car. You know what I'm saying? And it's like a more psychedelic, whatever. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, I, I put a lot of thought into trying to make my shit fucking cohesive. Yeah, like exactly. And only certain fans notice that shit. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. people who pay real close attention. I got Easter eggs in my shit, man. That and yo, but that that's what the game's missing right now. For real is like people who put together shit like that. Like the only dude I know that really puts shit together like that, that's really in the eye of like, you know, a lot of people is like Kendrick. Yeah, for sure. Everyone else is putting together bodies of work and shit, but to really connect it, you know, yeah, yeah. 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 So that's dope. I, I salute you for that. Thanks, bro. And another joint on there too. You had Jamo Gang, Raz Kaz. Yeah, man. He's probably my favorite West Coast MC. So as He's soon as I've seen that, I actually yeah. opened for them when they were in Toronto recently. Dope. Um, but yeah, so when I seen that on there, I'm like, yo, that's crazy. So did J57 produce that one? There? Yeah, J57 okay. did that one, and uh, yeah, that's dope, man. Like, those guys that came to Canada, my my booking agent booked them, so... So did you did that joint with them then? Yeah, yeah, I did okay. a joint with them for their album first, and then and then when they were in Vancouver, I was like, yo, I need you guys on my album, but I don't have time to push it together because I was going on tour, so they just made a song and sent it to me with a verse open. Oh, word. So, so that song I actually had... did have that's very the, jam that's, the, that's the only beat I really didn't pick. They 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 they, they did the song. I, I loved it. And, and I just went home, did my verse real quick, and fucking boom. You know Yo, I mean? that's ill, man. Yeah, it was dope. And those guys are good shit. Shout out Jamo Gang, man. Yeah, man. They're, and they put on a crazy show, too. Yeah, they're crazy, but man. Raz Kaz, El, El Gaunt, too, bro. He's yeah, insane, bro. Yeah, he is. A, he's Yo, insane. he's super dope, man. Yeah, dude. People sleep on that, too, man. Especially Raz Kaz. Yeah. On which joint? It wasn't Reef Las Cas, it was Raz Cas. Oh, the one you're thinking of? Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. No, Raz Cas is so dirty. But um, one thing I did want to ask you about, too, because uh, earlier, like, when we interviewed last time, we talked a little bit about the SDK roots. But, like, it started off as the graffiti click kind of thing, right? Yeah, for sure, yeah. But so, like, how did it kind of build to what it's become? Well, that's, that's pretty extensive, but... Uh... I mean, just over time, bro. You know what I mean? Like we all, everybody just does what they do. You know, it's like a, it's like a crew of motherfuckers who are hungry, man. That's all it is. And like we, we for many years we nurture each other and and big each other up and and try to help each other. You know what I mean? Like even the writers and shit. You know what I mean? Like those guys are some of my best friends. You yeah. know what I mean? Still to this day, keep six snacks, all those dudes, miles and shit. And those guys are still out there doing the graffiti and shit. And then, you know what I mean? We got the business side of shit. And then we got the rap side of shit. You know what I'm saying? And and and, and it all together. I don't know. I feel like everybody everybody worked hard, man. That's what it was. We've been working hard at this shit for so long that finally people are starting to notice. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's why we are where we are is because we worked as a team, man. You know what I'm saying? And that, that's it. 
And I think it's so ill too, because you guys are the only collective I can think of, especially first off, like a movement like that, that represent all elements of hip hop. Yeah. Like you guys are like the Canadian Zulu nation. I guess so, yeah, yeah. Like for real, like you guys got the fucking DJ, I don't know, do you guys got B-Boys in the group? Uh, no. All right, so that's the only element. I mean, Evil kind of does a little bit. A little bit? (laughs) No, but for real, like you guys got the DJs. There was a couple guys in the beginning. Yeah, we got DJs and all that shit, yeah, for sure. It's crazy, man. And another thing I did want to ask about too, because we didn't touch on it last interview, but like, what's your Mercury's relationship? Like, where did that start off? Um, I met Merc when I was when he was 16. I think I was like 25 or some shit. Okay. And he was at one of my shows, and 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 he would kept yelling, "New Jack of the Year, New Jack of the Year." And I was like, "Yo, I don't know the lyrics for that song." And he looked at me and he's like, "I know him." <laughs> and then I said, "Well, if you know him, so I'll fucking come up here and do it." And he, he he I gave him the mic and he rapped the fucking song impeccably, bro. And from that moment on, I started seeing him at my shows, and he was only 16, but he used to sneak into the clubs and shit, and he he was always there, and then we just started bringing him with us on tour and shit like that, and you know what I mean? He was a young, he was a kid, bro, and and now, you know what I mean? He's 26 years old, he's killing the game, you know what I'm saying? Like, we haven't done any music together for That's a while what I was gonna ask because you, because we're not we're trying to rush it you know what i mean i've only d- ever done one song with caspian you know what i mean yeah. i've got a handful of songs with Merck. you know what i mean we're, we're serving them so a you're kind of trying to like you serving know some of the other dudes no nah, no nah, it's not that it's just that Merck. you know what i mean well one thing is me and Merck are totally cool but Merck lives in a separate province in me he's got his own life oh shit i didn't realize nah, yeah he lives in alberta i live in bc bro we don't we don't hang out on a day-to-day basis okay like we we talk on the phone or facetime like that's it yeah, yeah. you know what i mean and when i see him i haven't seen Merck in like a year bro oh shit not face to face yeah you okay. know what i mean he's so busy bro and like when i was making my album he was on tour in the states killing it down there yeah you know what i mean now he's back and he's chilling and i'm here on tour it's like yeah yo him and me are like the guys out of the crew who are touring the hardest so it's like it's, it's hard, hard, it's hard for us to get to get together, bro. Yeah, you know especially what I mean? if you're in different provinces, too. I never realized Well, but that. we got our own studios and shit, but it's not even that. It's conflicting times, bro. He's on tour. I'm at home chilling. Yeah. You know what I mean? Then, then, then it, you know what I mean? It, it's bad timing. But I did speak with him the other day, and we're, we got some shit in the works, man. So you know is I mean? there a chance of maybe a Snack and Merc album happening sometime? Oh, I can't say anything about ah, that. Ah, shit. I can't say nothing about that. That would be crazy, though. That would be crazy. That would be crazy. Shout out to Merc, at least, too. Shout and out, Evo, Merc. both friends of the yes, show. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? But, um, yeah, man, I appreciate your time. I don't know if there's anything else you want to touch on. Anything yeah, man. you got coming up? Any other m- music videos? Off yeah, I got, I, got, I got more videos coming out. You know what I mean? Go to my YouTube channel, Snack Fucking One. Subscribe that shit. Go find me on Spotify, iTunes, Apple Music, whatever. You know what I mean? Rip that shit. Give it away. I don't give a fuck. Just spread it like a wildfire, man. Snack the Ripper. Much love. Much support. I love you guys. Keep listening. Shout out, brother. Thanks for the fucking Yo. time. Thank you, my G. Yes, sir. Until next time. Yes, sir. Keep it real. Let's go. Snack. Breaking fucking records radio.